All right, so I accidentally bought all of the mixed and key plugins, like all of them. Yeah, you heard me correct. I accidentally bought all of them. I meant to buy a $29 plugin and ended up buying the entire bundle. So instead of asking for a refund, I decided, hey, we'll just go and do a review on these plugins and see if we like anything in here. So this bundle contains quite a few different plugins here. So instead of doing just one large video, I want to do a few different smaller videos on the individual plugins like Captain Chords and Captain Melody and Captain Beat. And these are all the epic versions of these too. These are the highest quality version of these plugins. So as the title suggests, this video is going to be all about the Captain Chords plugin. So if you end up liking this video and want to see more from this company and what this bundle has, be sure to subscribe because we're going to be going through all the plugins right now. All right, let's get to Captain Chords. All right, going over here and grabbing Captain Chords Epic. And what I like here is when you first open it up, it tells you like what key and scale you want to go into right off the bat. I think it's a really nice little feature. So let's try like uh, something like hip hop maybe. So let's do like E minor, try that out. So here's what it looks like right off the bat. You can go over here and then do different sort of keys. There's one right there. It'll play it too. Did not realize that, sorry. And then here are some other chords inside of the scale. You can hit plus and then change it from there. And then once you highlight one of these right here, you can see different variations. So since we're in E, let's go over here and then try an E sustain two. Cool. Let me pop on these headphones real quick. And then once you find that chord that you like, you go over here and hit add. It copies the same chord, but then you can go over here and hit something different. So let's try something like this. All right. And even though right now it's not playing inside of your DAW, it will be syncing to your DAW. So if you want to play like eight bars, you need to highlight eight bars over here. And then now it'll go through the entire thing. Which I don't like that chord, but that's okay. It's the whole point of us doing this. And let's try something else over here. So let's try you. Still has that tension, so I think I'm gonna keep it right there. And also over here, we do have mo mainly like minor chords and stuff like that, but there are going to be some majors in there too, so just keep that in mind when picking out your chord progression. I like that, a lot of tension right there. I'm gonna keep it right there too. Whoops, I honestly just messed it up. Undo right there, and then there's the chord. And again, also hitting Control Z will also do that as well. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I've been needing to do that for, for a minute now. Okay, moving on to the next part of our chord progression, hitting add and then finding a new chord. All right, see, now, normally you don't want to do that, okay? It's very different when you add many, like, a lot of different chords like this. You can clearly tell that it sounds more full and that there's more notes being played than over here, which I, I'm not a piano player. I don't know if that's okay to do in certain situations, but here I don't want to have that happen. If I have like a three chord, a three note chord, I'm going to keep all the chords at three. That did like a pretty nice little chord right there, but I'm going to delete it. Let's stick an A over here. Let's see if we can't find anything else. I like that a lot, actually. Hold up. This could be it. That was not it. <laughs> All right. That's not bad. It's definitely not bad. In fact, that could actually just work. And then you can hit duplicate all, right? And then I can find a better resolution over here for the final chord. So I can change this one like that. Like that. I like that. That, that really helps resolve it right there. But now that we have that going, we can do even more to our chords. We can hit inversion up. And now that B goes an octave up. See, now you can see that it's actually the exact same chord that we played right before. I did not realize that, which honestly probably why it sounds so good and why it just resolves because it's the exact same chord twice. Either way, I'm keeping it. That sounds really good. For like a trap beat, something like really like dark, this might really work. And then you could even hit control A, highlight all the chords and then octave down. So here I would use this for more of like a trap sort of beat to where it's not very complex chords. Just very dark and want that tone going on. So that's how you make a chord progression using these up here, but there's a lot more that we can do with this plugin. We can go over here to chord progressions, hit edit, go to different sort of vibes over here. We can do like trap and hip hop. And then unfortunately there's only one um, progression here and we can hear that sounds. The plugin disappeared. Oh, that's very interesting. That's never happened to me before. Like on any plugin, that was kind of cool. So that was kind of simple. So let's go over here to something more like, um, I'm not a huge like house person. Let's try doing something like that and then we can make a different sound selection like that. And then top chords. Pretty simple, man. Pretty simple. Put this up to 160 BPM for a little bit. And then whenever you want something new, you can always over here and hit refresh.
like that one. That one's pretty good. I like that a lot. And like I was mentioning before, it is synced up to your DAW, meaning if I go over here from 160, go down to 80, you can definitely hear the difference. Perfect, really good. Now moving over to the audio tab over here, we can see that we've got different sound presets, which right now we're obviously on piano. Clicking on that has a huge variety of sounds you could use, from genres to instruments into sounds. So if you want to try and get a different sound, you can definitely pick something more to your liking. Let's try something like lo-fi. You know, I'm getting those vibes right now. Uh, I don't know, Berlin. Very nice, very soothing. All right, so now that we've got our chords and our sound selection, we can now talk about rhythm. Rhythm is this tab over here, which right now is currently on on chord change, which means it's not gonna have any sort of rhythm at all. Hitting edit, once again, have a lot of different categories over here. We can go to like lo-fi. And then once we click on that, we've got a lot of different options to go from the rhythm, a lot of different options. From simple to medium to complex, a lot of different options here. Going on all right now, let's try and look at some of the complex options. <laughs> It's actually really good for lo-fi. Sounds almost like jazzy with how many um, like strums that there are. Really good. But we can keep on cycling through. If like a soft lead in the background, that would actually sound pretty cool, but not, but not for this uh, sound selection though. Let's do something a little bit more simple. Let's go to like medium. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm a simple guy. Let's go to like something in here. Hmm. There we go. Going that octave down, huh? Very cool, very cool. I think I'm gonna stick with it right there. Now that we've got more of a rhythm that we like too, we can go back to sound design and we've actually got some effects. Like there's actually quite a bit here, which whenever you see the simple right here, it's gonna be powered by Phase Plant. I'm assuming that's a company that's really good in sound design. Not all of them have this symbol, but a lot of them do. With some stuff being very familiar, like the reverb, even change that to like room, plate, spring, arena, you know? I'll probably go to like arena, so that sounds really good off the bat. Sounds a lot more wide, which I like for, for uh, lo-fi. And then some delay, ping pong. Has a texture in the background, really good. And then a filter as well, if you want that. I like that a bit more for this, a bit more warm. And then a mod wheel for more like lo-fi stuff. Which that does sound pretty good, but I think I'm actually gonna be saving that for a little bit later. I'm actually gonna be exporting this really quickly, which all you have to do to do that is go over here and untick this. So the entire time we've been listening to the audio inside of the plugin, not necessarily our DAW. Hitting this button right here, will bring this mode up called Captain Will Now Play MIDI from your DAW. Which means if you like a sound inside of this plugin, all you have to do is hit export MIDI over here, put it onto here and then press that button. And now we'll be able to play the MIDI inside of your DAW right here, which I can prove by getting rid of these. You can clear out to be a difference. Bring that on back, because I obviously don't want that to happen. And then if you like the melody that you've got so far, it's as simple as going over here and then consolidate by track. Done. And now let's try to find like a layer for this. The other really cool thing, the amazing thing that I've not even mentioned for this plugin yet is the plugins tab over here. Clicking on that, you can select any of the plugins you have already downloaded in your DAW. For example, I can just open up Keyscape here. I can just do that. Hit OK. And now here's Keyscape inside of the plugin. Look, it's not it's not on my channel rack at all. It's inside of the plugin. And I've got to say, I was going to be very skeptical about this. Like, how well is it really going to be integrated with inside of the plugin? It runs flawlessly. Like, I've had zero problems with it so far. Like, just listen to that. All the beauty of Keyscape is, is with the inside of Captain Chords now and all of its versatility. And then if you ever want to change the sound, you can go over here and then hit Show Plugin and it's right there again. It's very, very intuitive. I think I like Retro the most. This is, this is honestly kind of crazy. 
obviously want to hear how this sounds with uh, some drums on here. I have other videos to make today, so I'm going to be using a, uh, a loop, but it's loops that I've created, okay? So I don't want to hear anything from you guys. It's my own drum loops that I just know work well for this. Here we go. So good, man. So nice. So one thing to mention too is that when on this plugins tab right here, moving over to audio, we'll change the patch back to what it was before, the Berlin e-piano. But as far as all of that goes, I think that that's pretty much it, man. A few little things that we glossed over, down over here is going to be the chords that you're playing. It'll even be synced up for you once you go over here and hit like plus, it'll just stay in this bar right here. You could even do this and then it will actually change it. Well, I actually didn't even know about that, that's really cool. Over here is gonna be the rhythm, which it does have the, the lo-fi nine right here. Same thing down over there. Velocity, it will have the velocity right here, which you can also change as well. You can make it do different things like that. Let's make it sound a lot more realistic, like a real piano player is doing this. And if you ever feel like anything is falling out of sync, you can go over here and hit the sync button. Your chord progression is now synced from bar one in your DAW. I have never had a problem with this plugin being out of sync, not even once yet. Okay, so that's going to be everything I've got for this plugin. So I think that's where I'm gonna end this video right here. Honestly, it was a little bit intimidating when I first opened up the plugin, so if you do end up picking this up, there might be a small learning curve, but just stick with it. And I guarantee you, you're going to like this plugin. This has honestly been really fun to use. So there is still a lot more to go through with this Captain Plugins bundle. I've still got to go through Captain Beat Epic, Captain Deep Epic, which is a bass plugin, Captain Melody Epic, and Captain Play Epic. Play Epic is a little bit different. We'll talk about that one in a future video. The next video will not have the chords that we made in this video. This is not a continuation. It's going to be its own separate video because in the future, I want to make a video where I use all the plugins at once. So if you guys are curious about the other plugins in this bundle, be sure to subscribe because we've been talking about that next, really. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.